probably looking at the UA online registration process step by step. There are some students. Some students have been complaining, have been in two or three groups. They have been looking for ways to log into the e portal from the e portal to the online registration system, which is the module system. So this short video will give you step-by-step -step description on how to do it. Please note, this video was not authorized by the UL administration. So please do not share your ID, your email, and password with anybody. Then look at the materials needed to log in. So firstly, you need a computer. You need a computer or a smartphone that has internet connection. So your computer should have a browser or your smartphone. You can make use of Edge by Microsoft, Google, Google Chrome, or Firefox. But make sure they are all up to date. So let's get to what we are here for. What do you do first? Firstly, you open your browser. You tap, you tap the, the University of Liberia domain name, which is ul.edu.arr. It takes you directly to the UL website, where you will see a lot of different menus. But the menu that concerns us is the eCampus menu. You scroll down, you're going to see the ePortal. From the eCampus drop down menu, you're going to see the ePortal. So, as you can see, the demonstration you log in, you add the edu, which is step one, step two, the eCampus, and step three, the ePortal. So, let's get to the demonstration then you will understand what we are talking about. So firstly, you get to your browser, in your search box, you tap ul.edu.ar, you press enter. It has taken me to UL website, right? So you see a lot of different menus and tabs. But our main concern, we're gonna be looking at the e campus when you click on the e campus you have a drop down menu the first one we're going to look at we're going to look at the e portal you click another tab will open on your browser asking you for your student id or password student id and password so please do not share your id or password with the public it is unique is it is unique to you so use it and do not share it with the public so let me tap in my password I'm not a robot you click in a radio button you say lock in all right yeah I am you will see the dashboard, the student, the faculty, the e-learning. You click on student. It's loading. Then you will see your email and your password, your school email. This is the, the newly created email for you. You see the password. This is the default password. So you highlight. You see on the keyboard, CTRL, which is control C. You copy and go back to the University of Liberia website. You click on the e-learning module. You click. You're going to open another tab in your browser. It's loading. It will ask you to log in with your email and password. So you click your email account. It's loading. All right, so you say you, you paste control V the email you copy, you paste next. 
it's asking you for your password you go to your e-portal right you copy the password this is the default password you copy your password and paste it when you paste your default password the authentication system they are using is going to ask you for the going to prompt you for a new password so you put a, you put your you see the old password the default then you put a new password this is very serious your new password should be strong should have upper uppercase keys lowercase and combination with symbols letters numbers for it to be strong please note if your password is not strong you won't go forward you keep trying, trying, and trying. You won't go on forward. So, type of very strong password. This is for your own protection. You know, due to modern days technology, we have a lot of system now that can crack password. It can be easily generated. So, if you have a body, if you have a strong password, it will take them time to really crack it. So, you need a strong password and it's unique to you don't put your date of breath don't put your money don't put your panic put something unique but not part of your email it's not your name it's not your date of breath right so let me tap my password i'm tapping my password all right here's it sign in do you want to stay sign in if this is your personal computer, say yes. If it is not, say no. Because if you say yes, it is not your personal computer, and then by logging to that computer, you have the opportunity to log in and see your account. So you are online, you gotta be very careful. We are in, right? So you see, this is the dashboard. You will see this. This is where you, will, all your courses will be listed, and this, this, this is unique to you this you only see your your courses you will see your grades you will be able to log into your courses right so you see there's your dashboard you see courses you click on honor graduate you'll notice that click it's loading give it time based on your internet connection so that goes to the business department all right, it's loading. You see the Department of Accountant. You click. Right? That's it. Accounting, principle of accounting two. You click. All right, it's loading. All right. So you have a message here. You cannot erode yourself into this course. Right? So before the 28th of this month, they're going to enroll you. Or they will say, okay, we'll give the teachers, we'll give teachers the opportunity to enroll students. Since they have plenty of courses already. Or they will come up to say, we'll give you self-enrollment. Where in you the courses you are playing on your e-portal, you use the you, you the, the courses you play already, you can come and enroll yourself. That's another thing. So it level with the administration of UL to decide how will it be. So you have done your part. All you need to do to wait for you to enroll, right? So there's your dashboard. You see, you can add your photo, you can edit your profile, you'll be able to see your grades, your preference, you can log out. So from here, you can do everything, almost everything there is or open source software. You can in fact you can integrate, you can integrate Zoom, you can integrate. Microsoft team, your teacher will decide how to do it. Other videos you can log into live videos for you to see, and it's just great. Your teacher will be able to upload your activities, your quizzes, your projects that you will be able to do online. So this is a simple process. All you have to do this is it. So to recap, you log in to the general URL website, eCampus. You click on your ePortal. Your it will lock you straight to your e-portal, you copy your email and the default password. Then you go back to your website, the eCampus e-learning module. You click on that link, 
it takes you directly to Modu. You lock in. If it is your first time locking, you gotta make your password very strong. Then you will lock into this what we are looking at. So when you are enrolled into courses, you'll be able to attend all your classes. You will see the dashboard, you'll see your activities, you'll see week one, week two, week three. If, if, if your instructor and upload ebooks, you're gonna see all of them. So thank you and thanks.